I am a survival master. Boom, there you go. Less than three seconds into the video and you already don't believe me. But what if I told you that I actually lived in a jungle? Still don't believe me? Well, have a look at this. Give up. Nope. Never let the wood win. So if I am a slightly less athletic Bear grills, I should be good at survival then. How do I break the sticks? Unwavering in the face of adversity? I definitely heard something then. <gasps> and cool, calm and collected. <gasps> oh. Welcome to Sons of the Forest, or maybe I should say welcome back. You see, we have dipped our toes into this game before, but now we return in all of its glory. If you are new around here, please consider subscribing. If you do enjoy the video at any point, please make sure to drop a like. And speaking of dropping, that is exactly what happened to the helicopter when we flew in. You see, we are on a mission to find the Puffton family, whom are all missing. And something capsized our heli, causing us to fall to the ground. We drearily wake up from consciousness after the dramatic fall, only to have our lights knocked out by a strange man. Wait, you don't shoot me. Oh... Wake up and game starts. Once we woke again, we find ourselves on this deceivingly beautiful island, but we are not alone. And I'm not talking about the cannibals. You see, we have our dear friend Kelvin with us. And that's my emergency, wait, who's moaning? Oh wait, yeah, Kelvin. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. Kelvin, on your feet, on your feet. I started in the snow last time. I'm in the forest now. <laughs> he's out of it that's quite bad to have uh, he's deaf if you didn't know but to perforate both what's that in my hand uh, to perforate both eardrums that'd be pretty difficult no uh, I remember this I remember get me some sticks and give them to me Oh, this is so cool. I mean, I've missed this. The thing is, though, you wouldn't rip the paper. Paper would be super scarce. All right. And is he going to go and get sticks? He does go and get sticks. Okay, here we are. Now, the golden rule of three is if you ever find yourself in a survival situation, you have the rule of three. You can survive three hours without protection from extreme elements. Three hours? No. Three days without access to clean water and three weeks without access to food. I learned that from watching Bear Grylls. So we need to focus on getting a shelter. We've got some flares though. Luckily for us, there seem to be a bunch of resources that are dropped with us from the heli crash. These were relatively basic supplies, but they were welcome nonetheless. Rather though than starting the fight with the forest, we began fighting with the game. Can we please... Please, please, please normalize not having eye for inventory. Point in case. Here's me, Wazda, chilling, playing the game. You want me to open my inventory? I then need to have the etiest fingers to get eye there, or I have to twist and hit eye like that. Can we not normalize having what every person on the planet should use for in inventory, which is caps lock? And it's the same with M. Yes, I get I for inventory, M for map, but can we please normalize caps lock for map? Tab for inventory, please. Game developers, come on, it's 2024. Once I had finished having a strop about normalized atrocious keybinds, we managed to find a tarp in one of the boxes scattered on the ground. Tar tarp. Open emergency bat. Oh, located in my inventory, which is now tab. Wait, how do I do this again? Tab. Ah, press tab. Add an item to map to combine them. What am I combining? Open. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, nice. GPS, equip. This is cool. I enjoy this. Find, wait, find team B? I genuinely have no memory of this game. Who's team B? Oh, I can zoom in like that. Okay. So there's, oh God, there's, oh God, there's a cave down there. We definitely want to take advantage of all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck, it's Kelvin. I'm pretty sure the cannibals <laughs> don't appear early 
I think they wait. I think there's like a system in the game where it's like you have to build a little bit before they get there. But I also could be completely wrong. And I'm uh, luring myself into a false sense of security. Oh, oh, the dead guy. Oh, no. Surely we would take his clothes, though. I mean, it's sad that he died, but wouldn't you take his clothes? I mean, mine might get wet. Mine might get dirty. I think having two pairs. Oh, this is a good time to mention that I am very, very bad with anything horror or jump scare related. So you can imagine how this adventure is going to go. But you can't blame me too much. You see, I had a pretty sheltered childhood when it came to horror. My mum didn't let me watch Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because she thought it was too scary. Love you, mum. Speaking of being sheltered, it was about time that we built one. We had our survival book with us, which told us how to craft a whole host of things from cabins to chairs and to traps. Once we figured out what we needed, we needed to find a good place to set up camp. We've got to go to these points. I'm just trying to think where is going to be best to set up a location. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the best. Just enough to get our feet on the ground. I'm thinking maybe here, to be honest. I don't see anything wrong. It was quite scenic, doesn't it? It's quite pretty with the with the rain, uh, the rainfall, the the waterfall, the no. <gasps> Are they bodies? No, they're bodies. I'm trying to see if that's fucking. No, they are. They're bodies. That's a shiny ass. I'm pretty sure that's a shiny ass. Oh, it is a shiny ass. Does that mean some of them are near here? Shit. Right, come on. I've got to get a move on here. I've got to get a move on. We have no idea. What uh, what's around us? And nightfall's going to come. Right, we, yeah, we're, we're literally just going to go here. So I reckon we built a tent. A tent and a campfire here. Okay. So how do I do that again? I switch mode oh, that way. Uh, that, tent, 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 tent. So I need the, the tarp and a stick. So then I do that from this. Have I got a tarp? No. no. Tarp. There we go. It's all the way over there. Equip. No. I want... No. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right click. Oh, do I just put it down? Okay, um, I would probably, probably, wh where can I? Right here. Oh, -ho! and then I hold that to get the, uh, the sticks out. Oh, I've missed this. I, I've missed this. And then this is the most basic of basic tents. <laughs> is that it? No, we do. That is a raccoon. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this makes me want to go camping already. This really makes me want to go camping. That goes there. Oh, there's a strength thing in the game. Honestly, I, I haven't played or watched any of this game since I last played the game, which was over a year ago. You just have a rest there, pal. I'll, uh, I'll sort us out. Don't you worry, mate. Four sticks and a tarp. It might not be pretty, but it gets the job done. But with every shelter, there needs to be a fire. We needed to cook, drink clean water, and be able to see when things got dark. The fire is truly the survivalist's best friend. How do I break the sticks? <gasps> oh, like this. Okay. Oh, look, these little rocks have kind of made it so it kind of looks like a, a shelter, doesn't it? And then light it. Wait, should I have lit that? I think it's infinite fuel, is it? <gasps> Look at this! The first shelter already. Yes, I know it's just the tarp and some sticks, but I don't think you've seen a better tarp and sticks than that. Even the <laughs> raccoon's happy about it. That is a raccoon, isn't it? I think it's a raccoon. <laughs> now what? That's the tutorial over. Save the game. That's what we need to do. New save. Yes. Game save name... 
We now had a basic shelter and fire, now need something to defend ourselves with. There might not be any immediate dangers, but I knew enough about this game to appreciate that these peaceful times, they don't last long. We crafted a basic spear and began to look for the next most important thing, food. There's got to be a little rodent around here somewhere. What noise is a what noise is a squirrel make? No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to eat. Oh no, I do want to eat them. But fruit isn't enough. What would a what would a squ squirrel make? It's super high pitched, isn't it? Webs. I don't like being this far away from the base. Does a spear one shot? What's that? Is that another raccoon? The rabbits and rodents were fast, but eventually we managed to hunt one down, skin the critter, and harvest its meat. We could then cook this on the fire and satiate some of that hunger that was building. I wasn't sure how we could get my hands on any clean water though. It had been over a year since I last played. I tried my look at drinking from the river, and whilst it did quench my thirst, I got a funny green bit on my hood. But as the sun began to set and the night loomed close by, we figured that we could call it a day there and hope that we could get some uninterrupted sleep, which we did, and along with the new day came new adventures as we discussed what the plan for the day was. Let's be sensible here. Now, I only remember where one thing is, right? And I say that, I don't know, it could have changed, but on that beach just in front of us, there's, there's like boats and stuff where there is a machete. And I feel like that's going to be very, very useful for us. So but I'm thinking we go on a little bit of an adventure just to see if we can um, maybe find a place that we want to set up base, okay? And so we set off on our first adventure in the wrong direction. You see, even with the GPS in hand, I am chronically directionally challenged. But it was a good job that we are because we found something. A squirrel just died. What? Why did the squirrel die? Why? Why did the bird die? Oh, feathers! Nice. They touched. Oh, <gasps> that's why. A stun button. Oh, it's got charged. Does it have batteries? Oh, that immediately makes me anxious. Anything with batteries in it, I never, ever, ever want to use. With a stun baton in hand, we set back off in the right direction this time. And on our way, we stumbled across a camp. There was a whole host of loot here, namely a cooking pot, but also solar panels. Whilst completely useless to us now, I would hope that they would come in some use later down the line. So far, things had been going well. Really well, actually and the game could smell it. It could sense complacency creeping in. What was it? Craft a bow. What is that? That's duct tape, isn't it? Damn it. All right, I've got the rope. I just need the duct tape now. But, uh, <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh. Okay, maybe it was... Okay. Let's just keep moving. It's more important. Let's see if this machete's still there. And then... Um, we also need to figure out somewhere that we're going to build. That doesn't look safe. Devil's Club. Mm. Mm. I definitely heard something then. Ah! Four.
It's my first time um, recording, playing the game with these IEMs and these these earphones. I usually use with these. Everything sounds like the the noise is already inside me. With those headphones, I feel like the noise comes from the outside and then comes inside. But these, I feel like it's already inside. Shit. If I remember, I think if I attack these, they get mad, don't they? Okay, okay, okay. We're going to press back, then we're just going to run. We're not going to attack, we're going to turn and run. We need to run kind of north-ish, okay? Three, two... Oh, shit! Did I panic through my spear? I think I've panicked through my spear. I think I panicked through my spear. Does that mean I still have my knife? I still have my knife. Okay, just go, just go, just go, just go. Just go, just go, just go. I think I threw my spear. I think I threw my spear. I don't have my spear. I'm pressing forward and nothing happens. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. I hate being chased. I hate it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, stop messing about. Stop messing about. Down here. Follow this river. Follow this river. We had looked out, and whatever that thing was didn't attack us. It just lurked close by. We hastily started to sprint through the forest in desperate search of the beach or anywhere with a more open place. The way that I saw it, the more open it was, the less chances of being scared. To say I was on the edge was an understatement. I'm annoyed about my spirit. I need, I, I need basic primitive tools. I, I, I need... Like basic survival gear, you know, like 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 water bottles, better spears and water collectors and, and, and those sort of things. I don't I don't need Oh That didn't just happen. That didn't just happen. I looked over to my right and got scared by myself. I looked right and saw me and because my monitors are so close together. I thought that I, I thought someone was looking at me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. That was certainly one of the more embarrassing things to happen to me, but it's a testament to the atmosphere of this game. We carried on moving north towards the beach and eventually felt the sand underneath our feet. Being able to see clearly made life much, much easier. And this was where we knew that the machete would be. Except that it wasn't. I had confidently remembered that the machete was found on a beach, and I had failed to remember that there was more than one beach. Oh no, 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 no. After walking to the other side of the bay and realizing my mistake, we quickly returned back home. It wasn't a completely wasted trip, however, thanks to the cooking pot. We had been making progression, but we also must have been making some noise once we returned back to the base, as we attracted one of the local residents. Yeah. I thought that that would work. Maybe it just... Oh, maybe it's these rock. Is there different kinds? <gasps> oh! It's you! What was your name? Uh, uh, Vivian? Victoria? Um, hey, no, 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 no. Honestly, it's fine. Honestly, it's totally fine. Would you like some food? Look, I, I can give you food. I can give you food. No, I can't. Um... A watch? Would you like a watch? I know you would like a watch. No. Oh. I so trippy. <gasps> okay, she warms up to us. I hate to see her leave, but I, uh, I love to see her go. I now had a curious but terrified visitor, but I also had clean water, nutritious food, shelter, and a fire. I started to feel a lot safer until I realized that there was a cave entrance not but a stone's throw away from where I slept at night. Oh! Oh! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get fucking Bambi! Oh, Bambi glitched in the rock. I can't believe there's a cave this close to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't. What the fuck was that? Are they bats? No. 
I had absolutely no intention of going anywhere near caves for the time being. They were cold, dark, and filled with some of the most monstrous things that you could lay your eyes upon. Instead, we had noticed an orange marker on the GPS a short walk away from us, so we headed in that direction. What the fuck's that blue symbol? That's like a steering wheel. Or a drone. Oh. Oh, it's a ste it's a golf cart. Wait, these don't work, do they? I think I found one in my last playthrough. I say playthrough. I didn't really play it all the way through. What's this? Oh my god! Oh! Oh fuck! Oh he's there! There's a man, there's a man, there's a man, there's a man, there's a man! Oh! A squirrel! That's not a man. Oh where's he going, where's he going? Oh he's on the tree. Oh, does this drive? Oh my god, it... <gasps> Fuck off! It drives! They have golf carts in the game! Oh, get me out of here! Shit, oh shit, oh god, oh shit, oh no, ah... Uh... I'm... No, 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 Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, shit. Is that golf cart? Have I ruined it? Did I ruin it? I think I ruined it. Oh. This is open. Oh, relaxed. My shoulders are killing me already. Fireman! Oh wait, no, what? Note. Again voicing my concerns. Gordon. Puffton refuses to acknowledge what a place this is. Not even counting what my team has been finding on the other side of the island. Surveyors going missing. Our workers turning up dead. If he won't deal the situation, I will. Other side of the island? Now. Oh, right. Do you have any duct tape? GPS located, nice. Oh yes, that's how we, um, that's a cave. Is it? I'd take the hard hat personally. I'd take any sort of protection. Yeah, that's cave, nope, 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 nope. What? My heebie-jeebie tolerance was starting to reach its capacity. The problem with just having a tarp and sticks for a home is you never feel truly safe. What we needed was to build something which provided a bit of protection. This wasn't going to be a grand home, but just something that would provide us with some comfort and safety for the next couple of days. So we headed back to the helicrash site where we were going to begin building. <gasps> oh, I saw a man, I saw a man, I saw a man. I saw a man, he's running. Ah, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Piss off, piss off. Oh, there's two, there's two. There's two. Where do we go, where do we go? This way, this way. There's two. There was two. There's one on the road. There's one on the tree. There's one there. There's one there. He's wearing a cape. He's got the cape. He's got the cape. Is that a cape? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Right. We need this cabin. I'm going to do the small cabin blueprint, I think. Oh, I'm, I don't like this at all. Okay, Kelvin's here. Okay. 
Okay, we're back. Right, come on. We need to get a move on. I want this done before nightfall. Right. Shit, wrong button. I am sweating. Uh, right, what we want then is we're going to switch over to the other side. And then... Uh, where, where was it? There's like a, a cabin somewhere. I think I think it was in here. Maybe. Oh, I might be lying, actually. It might, it, might be, it might be in the other one. <gasps> log Hold up. Log sleds are in the game. They, they, I'm pretty sure they did have log sleds when I last played. Here we go. Shelter. Small cabin. Bosch. <gasps> it has stilts. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, that's an idea. That's an idea. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If I rotate this, so the door is here, and then build it up to there... We can do... It's, like, protected. And then, and then I could just block off, like, here... So they can't... Oh, yes. Right. It is time. Kelvin, we need you getting some logs, Brosif. Right, okay. So, get logs and drop here. Okay. This is time. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? First tree to be felled. First tree... Now, there is actually mechanics in this, isn't there? So I don't want to hit anything. Let's do it. Oh, I feel better about myself now. I've got a, uh, I've got an objective. I've got a purpose. What the feck is that symbol? Two. Oh, that's strength. It's a number two. I thought it was a worm. Timber! Nice. Oh, shit. There's only two logs at a time. Okay, this could take a while. This could take a while. The deer keeps spawning in front of me. Oh, I remember this trick. Watch this. You put these here, and they're all going to stay there because the current goes down. So I can just throw, I think. Oh, see. See, this is the content that you've subscribed for. You haven't subscribed yet, have you? No, honestly, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I, you know. I'll just sit here and slave away making these videos and you can watch without subscribing. I don't really care. I don't really care either way. They're not moving. There's no current. Right, okay. So that that's not the play. Oh, this is this is going to take a while. Yeah, this, this, this is going to take a while. Chubbity chop. Chubbity chop. Um, obviously, I've just come off the back of playing a lot of Ark. Six months of Ark, actually. It was a it was a long, long playthrough. Um, and you collect resources in you know, a very different way, namely dinosaurs. But for me, without a shadow of a doubt, out of all of the games that I've played, Sons of the Forest has my favourite, by far, kind of building, kind of... Mechanics, I think. Yeah, mechanics. Like, mechanisms, process. I just think that there's something so good about, like, laying the blueprint out like that so you can see it. And then adding things as you go. There's, like, a level of satisfaction with that. And obviously, you can build, like, you can customize, which will absolutely do. This This is just the beginning. This is the basic base. This is the newbie, the Bambi base. And we're going to build something extravagant, extraordinary, efficient, and excellent you know, when we get the chance to. But what I also love about this is that it's the chopping trees down. I just think it's so realistic. I'd love to know, like, how much, like, man manpower in terms of, like, hours went into, like, the chopping tree mechanic. Because the, the, they've put so much time and, and attention to detail, I think, from it. Because it just, it just looks so damn realistic. I feel like I'm a lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack. And the fact that you have to, like, pick up the logs, I know it, it, it does get, not tedious, but it certainly loses the magic of when you're doing it for the for the thousandth time. But playing it again for the first time in over a year, it's, uh, I'm enjoying it at the moment. I just think there's something so magical about, like, these crafting games and, and survival games. It's like, 
it's a complete blank canvas and you can do like anything that you want to do with it. I absolutely love it. Well, <laughs> what a waste of wood. I just got stumps everywhere. Hey, Leggy. I can't remember her name. I think it's Vivian. Is it? He's with a V. Velma? No. That's Scooby-Doo. Oh, oh, shit. I'm going to try and talk to her. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. I'll go no further. I'll go no further. Psych! Hello! No. Shit. Do I try and sleep now? Or do I try and finish this? How much more have we got to go? Shit. We're going to need food for the morning as well. See, I need to... Right, no, we're sleeping. Sod this. Save the game, save the game. No, actually, just sleep. I think it saves the game when you sleep, I think. Oh, no. Enemies are safe. Oh. 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 Why is there so many? Shit, what do I do? I can't fight that many, can I? My bloody mouse. Every time I get scared, I squeeze my mouse so hard it ups the DPI to about a trillion. <sighs> okay, I've just got to click back and then go. Oh, I hate the dark. Three, two, one. Shit! 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 Please no. Please piss off. I have a light. I have a light. You're not attacking? Oh, I don't think this light's very good. Please leave me. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. He's leaving me alone. I can only see my face in my monitor right now. It's so dark. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please, 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 please leave me alone. 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 I can't see a feckin' thing. We need to sleep. Please sleep. Please let me sleep. Please let me sleep. Oh. If I was looking for any motivation to finish my cabin, an intrusion of cannibals whilst I was sleeping would certainly give it to me. So as soon as we woke, we began chopping logs down, desperate to finish our new home. Two more logs and we're done, Kelvin. Thank you very, very much. I wish it was voice activated. Surely it was like chat GTP and everything that would be voice activated so I could literally yell to him. Kelvin, get me, get me rocks. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes! Come on! The cabin is done. Look at that. Stilts and all. I really hope they can't attack the bottom of it and cripple the whole thing. But welcome, ladies and gents, oh, to Mikasa. Oh. Wait. Do I not. Can I not sleep in it? Do I need a sleeping bag? Is that a thing? Chair. Table. Oh. Beckin duct tape. Okay. We definitely need to get like duct tape or blue tape or whatever that is. But uh listen, as all things all things considered, we've done quite well. A little bit of exploration. We made a, a tent. I know it looks stupid, but if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. But then our cabin. Not a huge amount of protection just yet, but once I, I'm going to build some walls like along the sides here, I think. I don't know if I can build off the ledge or what, but I feel I feel a lot safer in that, especially because we got victimized the last time that we went to sleep. But this, this is fantastic. This is like my own little slice of paradise. We've got a nice little bit of water here. It's going to lull us to sleep with a little bit of white noise. Flows into two lakes. 
It's like a bridge. We've got easy access to both sides. I am the best at the game and nobody can tell me otherwise. Troops, if you did enjoy the video at any point, please consider hitting that like button. It massively helps me a lot. If you are not subscribed and you are watching one of my end screens, need I say more? But troops, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Save the game. Click and scroll up.